Hello there, welcome back to Crafters TV. It's Saturday, it's gonna be a super Saturday because we are kicking it off with Play Your Crafts Right. That's right, we play a different game every single Saturday here at Crafters TV to kick off your weekend in style. It is gonna be absolutely awesome for a whole host of reasons. Don't forget also double points on everything you see in show here at Crafters TV and everything on the entire website as well. And that is up to midnight tomorrow. Uh, so make sure you take advantage of that. I am not here on my own today. Oh no, it's my, uh, my citrus partner. It's Citrus Saturday today, Craig, isn't it? It really, really is. You've gone for the nice, subtle, pastel yellow kind of colour and I've just gone bright and bold again because it's Saturday. Not used to being in on a Saturday, but today I'm in all day today. So I'm absolutely buzzing, really, really excited for that one. Nice selection of products throughout the day. So it's going to be fun between this one, Craft Along and Hunky Dory later on. What a Saturday to be here on Crafters TV. Joe, oh. what are you wearing? What a sad, just you just a bit, I'll just a little back. bit bright over there for me, like Craig. No, I'm really joking. Uh, these are our special glasses for our game today. Oh, yeah. Craft Bluff is what we're going to be playing shortly. Craig, I mean, we look like something out of um, Red Dwarf in these, don't we? Well, I was thinking more Terminator, but, you know, if you want to go <laughs> Red Dwarf, then that's fine. Yeah, <laughs> no, this is uh, going to be interesting. Cra uh, Craft Bluff coming up for... I can't see a thing. Craft Bluff coming up for you uh, in this hour. I'm going to be representing Facebook. Craig is going to be representing YouTube. I've got to try and turn it around this week. Now, as well as having fantastic games in our Play Your Crafts Right show, we also have great deals. Don't forget, uh, the winner's circle will be coming up from 1 o'clock until 1.30 here in the UK. And also, we've got great deals in the show too. Don't forget, also, National Craft Month means awesome prizes for you guys as well. All you need to do is comment, whether you're doing that over on Facebook or you're doing that over on YouTube. And every single day, we're going to be giving away an absolute bounty of crafty goodies and we'll be doing that during our later show the craft house which will be 7 p.m here in the uk or 2 p.m on the east coast uh, lots of you getting in touch remember you can do it in all the usual ways crafters tv if you're across on facebook crafters companion if you're over on youtube i can see kim helen jill charlotte all tuning in and saying hello now fabulous deal for you in this um Play Crafts Right show as well. Now, I'm going to go through it. We're looking at and talking about woodland animals. It's a great deal. £85 or $104 to get you a fantastic bumper collection. Now, if you want to go for the smaller individual collections, they are available on the website. Get over there, click shop the show. Uh, but this is what you're going to get included. So you're going to be getting fabulous dyes in here, which is awesome. Really lovely sentiments in here. These are always so popular. They are our stamps and dyes. So you're going to get the deer in here. You're also going to get the bunny how cute is that bunny and then you've got the foliage frame in there also we have then got the embossing folder for you with all of this gorgeous leafy detail uh, around the outside you've then got stamps in here too so if you love coloring and love the squirrel the owl the mouse they're all in there for you the fox is here as well i just think he's so cute look at that tail uh, and also in this large collection you are going to receive these die cut toppers as well platinum members can pick this up today for 68 pounds or 80 3320. That's not all you're getting though. Oh no. Uh, you're also getting three paper pads. Oh yeah, three paper pads. So you're going to get the six by six Woodland Friends paper pad. You're going to get the 12 by 12 textured papers. And you're also going to receive this gorgeous, gorgeous vellum pad with the toppers in there as well. It is absolutely exquisite. So make sure you get your hands on that, busy already. And also go and have a look at all the other stuff that's in the show. We've got previews for you of our later coming up shows. Um, of course, of course, Craft Along 3 p.m. here in the UK and also Craft House coming up for you at 7 p.m. as well. Uh, Craig, Woodland Friends has been so, so popular, hasn't it? It's kind of, it's kind of cute, but also a bit grown up at the same time, don't you think? Absolutely, it really, really is because it's all about the colour. So depending on obviously what colours you use or whether you use any of the actual animals, you can go all of those real bright colours, pink colours, blue colours and make it for the little kiddies 
Or what you can then do is go, go more sophisticated if you want. If you want to go for the deep tones, maybe bringing in your illustrator pens, you can go more for all of uh, the adults if you want. You might want to uh, theme some of them. Maybe you are very lucky to be living out in the countryside. You maybe get the rabbits that are just popping about in the garden. You might see a deer or anything like that just popping about. You can then absolutely be colour numb to theme these ones. But what you can then also do is bring in your folders, all the stamps, the dies that are included. You can then be making projects as well as cards. So talking about projects, the last one to show that I've got here, this one you could be using it as a calendar because this uh, collection that you've got is the actual full collection and what I mean by that is when it comes to the paper pads you're also getting the toppers when it comes to the vellum paper pads that you can be seeing uh, later on as well. So what we're going to do to start with is I've got in a piece of watercolour card and I'm going to bring in my guillotine. So I need to trim this slightly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim my watercolour card to ten and a quarter by six inches. And then what I'm also doing is let's score this one first. So I'm going to score at, let's bring in my scoring tool. So I'm going to bring this one in and then I'm going to score we're over here at four and a quarter. Now I do have one already done, however, I'm changing how I'm going to colour and I'm actually going to be using aqua pencils. The one I've got done at the side of me is actually using our tri-blend pens. However, I want to just change it slightly just so that I can show you you can be using your different mediums. So what I'm then going to do is I have already popped a pencil line at a uh, one and a quarter inches, which is just here and then I'm going to draw a very very light pencil line so what I'm doing if I put that into here I've then got just a little bit of a guide so what I've got is my uh, kind of off-centered card that we can see here and then I'm going to go into my sets so let's go for the bunny rabbit for this one here and with these dies Joes what's really good with these is it's not just a stamp and a die it's actually a stamp with a number of different dies to work around it. So for instance, I've got the bunny rabbit, but we have got the two dies. So you can cut out the rabbit as one if you want. You can have it as a, a left fold card, a right fold card. You can pick whichever one that you want. So you've got a real fancy edgeable, which I just think is really, really smart. So because of that, what I'm going to do is if I bring in the bunny rabbit, let's bring in the rabbit. And the reason I've popped this uh, pencil line as a bit of a guide in, it's really to let me know where I was going to put my die. So it really, it's just a little bit more over the actual length or the width of the side of the bunny rabbit. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to tape that down, low tack tape, to secure this into place. And I'm going to pop it right up to that pencil line. So if I tape that one and then tape that one down, and then we can move that to the side for now. Let's bring in our Gemini Junior, and it's just big enough to go through. So plastic and magnetic with top plate. And what I'm going to do, because that die is right at the very end, I'm going to wait, and I'm going to just do pause, and then I'm going to do reverse. Just because we have that uh, flexibility when it comes to the Junior, and it just means we don't need to wait on it all going through. So what I can do now is if I remove this one out the way and you can see if I carefully, well it doesn't matter if it's carefully because this bit's going to be cut away so it doesn't really matter. I've got that one and usually if I've got my eraser here, no. So what I'll do is let's use what's on the end of this pencil and I'm going to just get rid of that pencil line. I've done it a little bit thicker than usual, but at home you can just do a very light pencil line. I wanted you to see it. So what I can also do is let's get rid of that and then bring in our scissors. I'm going to cut from the base up to the bottom and then I'm going to do exactly the same down from the top into place here. Then that gives me my little edgeable for my bunny rabbit. We can see how cool is that? It's quite so simple. quite straightforward, isn't it? It is. It is. I think they look complicated sometimes when you see the finished, um, the finished 
uh, creations done with them, but I've seen you do it there, very simple, Craig. It's very simple, and then because you've got the other die, so what would, it, what would be the left-hand side of the bunny rabbit, you could do it on the other side of the card instead if you wanted to. You've got that flexibility. So what I'm then going to do is let's bring in our stamping platform. You can, of course, use your small stamping platform, but I like to use the larger one. Getting very competitive in the comments already, Craig, about our upcoming, um, our upcoming game. Uh, lots of people uh, sending messages of support for you and I. People even choosing uh, which channel they're going to be on based on who they think is going to win, Craig. Some people skipping from Facebook to YouTube and YouTube over to Facebook. Really? Now that's competitive, isn't it? That is competitive. That's really competitive. This is, um, this is going to be interesting with you and me when it comes to competing against each other, isn't it? Really interesting. Craig is, is like fully going to nail the game, I reckon, based on the, uh, <laughs> based on the little run through that we had before the show. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I am. You're going down. Oh, You're wow. going down. It's very aggressive. Might be me that's <laughs> going down, but you never know. We'll soon wait and see. See how it's going. What great way to spend a Saturday crafting and then having some fun. What is what I mean? Do Double bonus. Triple bonus because you're in as well. Oh, great. you're too what kind. Uh, no, it's going to be a great Saturday. And we've got a great day of shows coming up as well. Yes, yeah, so Craft Bluff is coming up very, very soon. Don't go anywhere. All will be revealed. All will be revealed for sure. Can't wait. Cannot wait for this one. So here we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to now bring in my Aqua Blends. So I have used my watercolour card and I have used my waterproof ink pad. And for this one, what I've done is I've used the pebble. So you could maybe, because it's woodland, use the pebble, maybe use the rustic brown if you want. There is flagstone or black, but I just think that works well with this one. And then what I thought I would do is I'm going into my aqua pencils. Now the original one I've used are classic pens, no never, it was a tri-blends. The same, but obviously just different format. And I've done them with a grey brownie tone. This time, I think I'm going to go for, I'm going to go along the colours of what we are, Joe. I'm going to go for the, the yellowy, orangey colour. So, go that other way. And then what I'm also doing is I'm going to bring in my actual water brush. You can, of course, if you want, use a paintbrush and water. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in, so let's start in with a bit of the light tone. So anyone wondering, this is from the primaries, and this one's a <laughs> citrus yellow, mm -hmm. and mango. That could be me today. Merlot. Mango. 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 I was going to say, it's your, a colour You're Merlot. citrus yellow, and I'm mango. Absolutely. I'm a cheery little lemon drop, and you're a sweet mango today. I am. So that's what we're doing. Uh, <laughs> lots of uh, people saying, uh, Christine says, good afternoon, boys. Love your hairstyles. Looking cool. I think we have definitely got <laughs> uh, the lockdown look yeah. going on, uh, Christine, haven't we, Craig? Not long now until uh, we'll be Not able to long. get it all chopped off again. Uh, Kelly says, you've got this, Joe. I feel a win for Team Facebook coming on. Fingers crossed. Lisa's torn, Craig. She doesn't know whether she's going to be watching on Facebook or on YouTube. Um, Lisa says, uh, go, Craig. We are here for you. Becky says, we're counting on you, Joe, for the Facebook win. I I'm going to do my best. I really am. Uh, Linda says, good morning. Uh, loving the outfits today, boys. Very colourful. Uh, Daisy saying, sorry, Joe. I'm on YouTube. Go, team Craig. Yay. Rude. <laughs> uh, and Will says, oranges and lemons, said the guys of Crafters TV. Uh, Monica saying, oh, hi Joe, it always seems like forever till you come back, glad you're here today. Well, I'm glad I'm here today as well, Monica. Uh, so lovely to have your company. And Kathy just says, Craig is going to win. That's it, Craig, that's all she says. Mm, see, I'm glad it's not just me that's confident when it comes for the win. Lots of people backing me. It's going to be so good. Going to be, if you've never seen our competitive side come out, then just oh, you wait. Craig is, Craig is very competitive. It's funny because I'm one of those that I feel I'm not competitive. Right. And then as soon as the game starts, or a game starts, it's like, right, this is it. Um, this is it. Is it. All is on. All is on. So really, it's going to be uh, me and Joe together. We might not be speaking after. Who knows? But what I've done is I've gone in with my uh, colour, my actual aqua blend. So I've gone with the two colours, and I've gone round mostly with the citrus yellow. And now I'm pulling the colour in. But I've also gone in with a little bit of the mango as well. That's going to create that little bit of a highlight. 
and I'm pulling the colour in from the outside. So we're still going to get that depthness all the way around and basically into any of the shadowy areas. But what's happening is that mango is just giving it a very, very bit of a, a, a definition around the edge. So we're going to go in and I'm following all the way around. So this could be obviously a bunny rabbit that you see maybe out in the wild that pops out of the garden or the forest when you're out. It could be if anyone follows uh, Laura, Geordie Scran, you know, it could be the Otis, little Otis, you know, go for that colour theme and go whatever colour theme that you want. So what I'm going to do at the moment is so that's even. I'm going to go in with a little bit more of the mango. I'm going to add that extra bit of highlight. So really where uh, all these little highlight lines are, I'm just following them. Pop your own bits in if you want, but I am just going to follow these little highlight bits and I can pull them out. And Rebecca's asking if you made the whole card base out of watercolour card cream. I did, yes. Whole card base because it's strong enough that you can absolutely do that. Saves you having to cut down separate mats and layers with white smooth cardstock and watercolour card. You can absolutely just go all out and use the same cardstock for your card blank. And equally, because it's got a bit of a texture, I sometimes, quite often actually, I use my watercolour card as a card blank, as a standalone card blank, because it's got that little bit of texture to it. So it's just something a bit different than smooth cardstock. So you can be doing that if you so wish. So I'm going to leave it at that for the time being. Let's bring in very quickly. I'm going into the florals now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around the inside of the bunny rabbit's ears, just giving it a highlight, back in with my water brush, and I'm going to pull that out so we can add that colour into the ear. I would spend a little bit more, but you're kind of getting the impression from up above. We've got the roundness when it comes to the body. Could be aqua pens if you want to, or as I say, it could be classic or tri blends. I'm always uh, shocked, Craig. Not shocked, but pleased how well they cover those watercolour pencils. You get, do get really good coverage, don't you? You get a phenomenal coverage. You really need just very, very little. Very, very little. And you're going to get a good coverage for them. If you wanted to, scribble onto a bit of watercolour card at the side and you could be picking the colour up that way if you want. It's a nice way of doing it. But what I've already done beforehand is I've taken the size of this part here and I've taken a piece of the patterned paper and also some of the cardstock, matte and layered this full rectangle. And then what I've done just to match the outside. So this is where, there we go, I didn't line it up properly. I should have been doing it a bit further down. But tell you what, let tell you what, tell you what, let's bring in a bit of cardstock. So I've got all mine to the side here. So let's take, where's that real bright If you're going green. for that big collection, you're going to get that textured card pad included, don't forget, as well. I know. Uh, which is awesome, because a textured card pad on its own should be 19 99 or 24 95 You're getting it included. And you're going to get that vellum pad in there as well, which should also be 24 99 or 29 99 it's more, yeah, it's kind of more than half the price covered just in those two items alone. So you are getting a great deal. Everyone's saving 57.87 or 69.35, which is awesome value for money. It really, really is. Now, I've said a couple of times when it comes to the best of British, and actually this goes for this collection as well. When we get them back on Crafters TV, we don't always see the paper pads with them. Usually it's kind of the element dies or stamps. So to get all three, that well, four, if you're going to include the six by six paper pad, you'll be able to uh, use them in conjunction with them. So it's always handy having them. But what I'm doing at the moment is I'm just resizing this slightly. So let's go, what was it, just under six. So just under six, we'll say six by three. And that's going to be my panel for the side here. So I need to do my patterned paper. So that's six by three. So let's do two and three quarters. So coming down a quarter of an inch, as I always do, into here. And I'm going to match up to make sure that we've got, got my perfect matting layer here. So I can bring in my tape runner. And we're going to layer these ones up. You can maybe, if you've got your what reactive ink pads, you could add a bit of extra colour because these are all like a matte cardstock. So you can do that if you wish. And now that I've got that layered up, what I'm going to do, give it a bit of a rub. And then we're going to bring this one back in 
Let's bring in our die. So all that I'm going to do is I'm going to follow this outline of the butterfly. Bur butterfly? Where did butterfly, butterfly come from? Isn't it? Where Bloody on rabbit, earth? Is that where you're going? Where on earth with the, did that butterfly come from? Haven't got a clue. But here we go. So following the end of the outline of the butterfly. The butterfly. Dra dragonfly. Oh my gosh. Bunny rabbit. Bunny rabbit. Bunny rabbit. Following that outline, we don't want to repeat a yesterday. What Yes yesterday? <sighs> yesterday's show on Wake Up Call and Craft Fault was just, for me, it was an absolute shambles. What, what happened? In a good I feel way. Like I, I didn't see it. I feel like I, I need to know. I, I didn't get my words out right. I wasn't explaining things right. I was getting things raw. Anything and everything. It was just one of those shows. That would go great? wrong, went wrong. So it was, it was definitely one of those Fridays, that's for sure. Although in saying that, a lot of you guys at home loved it by your comments on social media. And remember, you can watch it if you want to go back and see exactly what happened, Thanks, then you Joe. can. Because you can watch all of our shows back over on our website, or where you watch them, YouTube or Facebook. Uh, and yeah, my mum was on it. Was she? Yeah, she was. And for all the shows for my mum to be on, it was that one, wasn't it? Just uh, celebrating Mother's Day tomorrow here of in the course, UK. Of course, here in the UK, Mother's Day tomorrow, isn't yep. it? It is indeed. I always find it strange how we, uh, in the UK and the US, we have the different Mother's Days are on different dates, yet Father's Day is on the same day. I know. It's strange, so, that one, it's isn't it? It's one, isn't it? It's very, very strange, that one, how uh, Mother's Day is different, but Father's Day is the same. But here we go. See how we've now got that outline all the way round, so we can attach this one. And I've also got a piece of vellum at the side of me and we'll bring that one in from the 12 by 12 into place but yeah i could obviously with everything that's going on just now i couldn't get home at the moment with mother's day tomorrow so uh, i believe my, i sent my mum a, a big package and it arrived this morning so oh, thankfully lovely. it arrived in time it arrived in time and i was that was the thing as well my mum <laughs> my mum messaged me last night apologizing because right at the very end she said, she was like, now don't forget Mother's Day. And I was like, have I ever forget, forgotten Mother's Day in the past? And just as she was waiting, she, was, she didn't hear me right. She was like, yes. I was like, can I just clarify? I've never forgotten Mother's Day in the past. She was like, I'm sorry, Craig, I didn't hear you right. But, um, yeah. I always forget my parents' anniversary is the one I always forget. Do you? And then my way of getting out of it is to say, well, I just don't feel it's for children to celebrate anniversaries. I like you married my dad. I didn't marry you, therefore I'm off the hook. It never works. It never I was waiting to say, for children, you're, what, you're 35, 34? 34, 34, yeah. 34. 34. Always I don't think I've ever remembered it. Excuse. Not even once, Craig. Really bad of me. I, I always remember my mum and John's anniversary. 21st of December. And the reason I always remember is because it is, uh, what's this? This year will be the 21st wedding anniversary because they got married out in Florida oh, in wow. December 2000. Oh, so, lovely. yeah, so I always, I always remember. So, there we go, here. So, we're away for Christmas that year. And as much as I love America, it just didn't feel right being there. Uh, away abroad for Christmas? No, I've spent Christmas once abroad, Craig, in the Dominican Republic, and it was very strange being sat at a swim-up bar on Christmas Day. It was, yeah. it was the, the, the strangest feeling. Uh, Stacey says, good morning to my favourite boys. Uh, Joe, is there a black watercolour cardstock? I don't know. Craig, is there a black watercolour cardstock? So you can use our black matte cardstock, but we do have, a, 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 when I say a proper, we've got a... It's, it's letter size, it, it's Spectrum Noir, and it's a black paper pad that you can be... We actually had it on just the other day there. Yeah, so I've had it on the website. Well. Yeah, so it's, a, it's, a, it's in an actual pad, it doesn't come loose, and it's a Spectrum Noir uh, black paper pad, and that's going to be absolutely spot on for any of your watercolour and you know, whether you're going to be doing your metallics or that. I believe... Uh, uh, Georgina's just said it's 9 by 12 but it's on the website but you can use a black matte cardstock that will still work as well. I hope that answers your question Stacey. Now all that I'm doing Joe is I'm just finishing this one off so let's do, do you know something let's do one there. Sarah has said do be careful where you put that carrot Craig. I had a show with Debbie Robinson and her carrot placement was somewhat off let's say. Was it really? It was very much so yeah she didn't realise until she'd fully committed to the stick as well. Right. I could only imagine. Yeah, I'll only let you imagine. imagine. 
here we go, there we are. So I'm going to leave it that, like that. If you want it to, even now, if you want it to come in with a wee bit more depth of colour, so we can go in with our aqua pencils, bringing in a little bit more water from our water brush, pulling that one in. So you can still go along and add a little bit extra shade to it if you want. That's going to go into our 6x6 envelope that you can see here. So if I bring that close up for you to see, so we'll see that here. And then what I'm going to do, just in a minute, I've got my other one that's uh, exactly the same. The only difference is I've used my tri-blend pens and we've gone for the grey look. And actually I've changed the position of the carrots. So here we go. So whether you're using as alcohol or if you're using your aqua pens, aqua pencils, you can get that look here. But all done through that collection of the Woodland Friends, apart from, of course, the colour and material. It looks absolutely awesome. Uh, right, let me remind you what's in this collection. It is getting very busy. Uh, they are available in smaller collections as well. So the dies are grouped together. Uh, the stamps and dies, the embossing folders and the paper pads are all available in their individual collections. Check the website for those if you would like to see those. So you've got that great foliage uh, topper die there. You've also got the happy birthday. You're going to receive the with love sentiment as well. Then what we have is your woodland deer, who, which is just gorgeous. Exactly the same concept as the bunny rabbit that Craig just showed you. You are, of course, getting the bunny rabbit as well in that big collection. You're also going to get the foliage frame. I love this. So many options for how you can piece this together. You can actually double that up if you want to as well. We're then into the embossing folder. So you're going to receive the foliage silhouette, which is this one here, with that beautiful foliage design around the border. The next one you've got in here then is into your stamp, so which is your woodland trio. So you've got the owl, the mouse, the squirrel, all your little embellishing dies in there as well. Uh, these, uh, this one is only available within the main collection. Uh, it's your woodland animals. So you've got the gorgeous little hedgehog, the fox, the tree stamp in there as well. This as well is also only available in the main collection. It is the die cut toppers, 24 die cut toppers there for you. These work great stoppers on easel cards if you'd like to use them like that. 85 pounds or 104 dollars. That means everyone saves almost 60 pounds or almost 70 dollars, which is brilliant. Platinum members, you can grab this today for 68 pounds or 83 dollars, which is brilliant. It's a, almost a half price saving. So uh, do make sure you grab a hold of those. Right, I can see lots of UFO baskets. We also need to get ourselves ready and poised for our Craft Bluff game. So whilst we do that, here's how you can watch and shop at the same time. Hi, I'm Joe from Crafters TV, and I'm here to show you how you can grab the best deals and shop whilst you watch during our shows. So the best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. Head on over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV. You can see all of our shows, offers, and even shop while you watch. Now, if you want to get involved and comment along, head over to our Facebook page. Come say hello, ask us some questions, and lol with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay directly onto your big screen. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule, so don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. We do create every single day and we also have loads of fun as well, which is, of course, very important. Now, the time has come for our first game. Uh, Craig, how are you feeling? Are you feeling confident? Uh, this is, of course, Craft Bluff. So uh, how are you feeling, Craig? Are you feeling confident? I am so confident. It's just ridiculous. I know that I'm going to win and I know that you're going down. So bring it on. Well, I'm not quite that confident. But oh, anyway, uh, so this is how it's going to work, right? We're going to flash up a picture. That picture contains 10 items. Once we have had a chance to have a look at those items, we will then have a discussion with each other about how many we possibly think that we can remember. I might say three, Craig might say seven, and I might, maybe I don't believe him. I'll say, right, I'm going to call your craft bluff. And then Craig will have to don the glasses these very, very stylish glasses. We will bring the picture back in and then Craig will try to guess. If either one of us can't, A, guess the amount of items that we said we could guess, or we guess a wrong item, then the other person automatically wins that round. I hope that makes total sense. So, um, I, 
I will admit, my memory for these kind of things is not really the best. I'm that guy that forgets to get milk on the way home from uh, wherever I am. So you only have 10 seconds. We only have 10 seconds as well. I'll be playing for Facebook. Craig will be playing for YouTube. Uh, the winner, whoever wins out of myself and Craig, their, tie, their team, uh, five people would pick at random on Facebook or YouTube uh, to win a prize, which is absolutely fabulous. So I am ready. How, are you ready and set, Craig? Absolutely. Okay, then let's bring it on. Okay, right, Craig, how many do you think you can remember out of that? Four. Mm, I'm going to go five. Okay. Could you go to six, Craig, or are you going to call my bluff? Um, well, no, I, I think I would remember four. So you're going to call my bluff? That's, yeah. So, I, all right, let's go then. So, in that case then, Craig, I am going to try and remember five items. So, I'm going to pop my glasses on and uh, we will see how it goes. Right, I can't see a thing, so let me know when I'm ready to go. Okay. Gemini. Yep. Craft card. Yep. Phone pads. Yep. Pokey tool. Yep. Craft knife. I yep. can keep going. Illustrators. Yep. Spritzers. Yep. Oh, I think that's it. I think that's all I can remember. Oh, you've got one more. No, I said, f I said six, didn't I? Oh, well, you're Five dead, but you're, you're just one shot from remembering it all. Oh, really? Yep. Well, I've won anyway. I'm not going to guess again, just in case I guess the wrong, the wrong one. Fabulous. Brilliant. Yes, Gemini, correct. Craft card, boom. Phone pads. Pokey tool. <gasps> oh no, so where was the, can we bring the picture back in then? Oh, I can't believe that. Oh, there it is. What was it, what's the thing underneath? <gasps> it was a paintbrush, Craig. And the spritzers. So I guessed the right amount, Craig, but however, because I guessed the pokey tool, uh, uh, I lose, Craig is the winner. How do you feel? <laughs> oh, do you know the annoying thing was as well? I was unsure about the pokey tool, so I just shouldn't have said it because no, if I hadn't have. said it, I already had enough anyway. Yeah, you're dead. Let's see, the, I think they're in, uh, they're in Mountdown uh, over on the socials. Uh, Daisy says, go Craig, go Craig, go. Uh, Karen says, I love Craig, come on, Facebook. Um, I just bought this set, it's amazing. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I feel like I've, I feel really disappointed in Craig. I bet you do, yeah, I bet you do. So one point to YouTube then uh, is where we are at. Um, so yeah, all still to play for. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to ha have a look uh, at Something that's coming up now is your craft along uh, the start. I feel so. Do I mean, I could just <laughs> you stop see it. that's how I'd feel, Joe. That's how I would feel. But obviously, I don't need to feel like that. I got I, six I correct, won. but one of them wasn't there. What a nightmare! Right. Okay. Uh, we are going to be looking at in your craft along the interchangeable sentiment dies. Now these are fantastic. I love them because yes, they're interchangeable. So it means that it gives you so many options when it comes to using these. There's loads for you here as well. So in this one just here, you're gonna get you're the best, you're engaged and you are invited. This one here has just for you, no, sorry, it has happy birthday, happy Easter, and also happy thoughts. I love that butterfly frame that you've got there in that one as well. This one here is just for you, miss you and thank you. And you've got that really lovely frame in there as well. This one here is sending wishes, birthday wishes, get well wishes as well. Uh, then we have for you best of luck, best wishes and best friend. Love that foliage border that you've got there with this one as well. Uh, the next one here is congratulations, celebrate and condolences. I do love that really beautiful font that's been used there on that one. This one here is sending hugs, sending love, and sending kisses as well. 74.95 or 84.75 gets you the whole collection too. Now it is this afternoon's craft along, but of course you're going to have the ability to grab these now today. Once they arrive, you can then come back and watch that craft along back as well. 
Now, something else, of course, that is happening every single day here throughout the month of March is our daily giveaway, our National Craft Month daily giveaway. It's fantastic. There is a load. Look at all of that bumper haul of gorgeous stuff that you could be walking away with. One person that comments either on Facebook or across on YouTube will be uh, named at random in our later show. So it'll be our Craft House show. Our Craft House show, a little bit of a different theme today as well, because we actually are launching some brand new product. I'll take you through that product before the end of this show as well. So do stay tuned for that. We will be playing as well another, <laughs> another round of Craft Bluff. I, so, I'm st I, so, I feel like it might have ruined my night. It hasn't gone that far, but I'm so disappointed in myself. Eve says, uh, Joe, I'm sorry, you were doing so great as well. I know. Uh, Kathy Higby says, sorry, Joe, you should have named another. Monica says, you were robbed. I robbed myself, didn't I? It was what happened. Um, you, you rule, Craig, says Angela. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Joe, you can win for us. It's not over yet, says Christine. And Sonia says, Joe, 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 I was screaming. Leave the pokey tool out. Dang, pokey tool. <laughs> Absolutely. Right, well, we've got one more round to go. So let's hope uh, I can you know, just claw it back for you guys over on Facebook, YouTube, uh, out in the lead at the moment. Uh, I'm going to give you uh, the details again of the woodland animals. Remember, it's a complete collection uh, that you're getting in here. £85 or $104, which is great value for money. Uh, the only way to get the die cut toppers and the woodland animal dies, uh, sorry, stamps, is in that big collection. So make sure you grab it. A great saving there as well. Um, Craig's as, as, as happy as Larry over there. I know, the camera keeps flicking at me as if I'm doing something, but I'm just standing here, you know, a little bit of gloating, but, you know, I'm just minding my own business, listening to Joe. So we'll see how round two goes later. You feel comfortable? Comfortable? Confident? <laughs> you feel comfortable? I'm comfortable, thank you. Good. Confident? No, I wasn't confident before. And then I actually couldn't believe how many I remembered. I just can't believe I put a, an extra pokey tool in there. Maybe I just threw you with my overly... Confident. I think was, it was. I, was I, I think really it was, overly you're confident. You're basically the craft version I? of the. You're the craft version of the New Zealand rugby team. You like do, did like your crafty hacker at me, and it obviously put me off. Yeah, yeah. Or was I playing your bluff? Who knows? Ooh, should be in Coronation Street, me good actor. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to carry on with the Woodland Friends. So this time, let's make a little bit of a box. Could be a gift box, but it's going to be a different style one. One that uh, you might have seen maybe a few times over the, the months or a few years, not just by us, but other crafters out there. But it's not one that I tend to do a lot. So this is where, when we're on about using watercolour card just as your basis, you can do it, and that's exactly what I'm doing here. So this one is a piece of watercolour card. So it is 11 inches by 4 inches. So 11 by 4. Now, if you've happened to get your hands on our current Get It Got It Good, or you might already have it, I'm using our score master. So what I'm then going to do is I'm going to score at five and a half inches, so halfway. So I'm going to score there, halfway. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it around, and then I'm going to put a little notch at halfway as well. So that's at the two inch. And then also we're going to do it the other way at the two inch here. And then what I want to do is, now if you've seen Jan the other day and a few of the others, they have a black pen line that runs throughout the centre of their score master or their scoreboard. You could do that if you want, if you find it easier to uh, view it with your eye. But what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to join up the end of this line here up to the centre with a score line and also from the other side up to the score line. So it's going to create a triangle and we're going to do the same on the opposite side. So what I'm going to do is uh, you can use any grid that you want, any line. I'm going to use the number four. So what I'm wanting to do is write down where the score line starts and what I'm doing is I'm manoeuvring it so my little notch halfway is also at the number four. So then what I'm going to do is if I score that at a triangle and then we're going to do the same on the other side so at line number four, that's what I'm choosing to use. So from there, and then the little centre notch at the top is at the number four. So we're going to score that. So then it works out that we are left with a try. That is so hard. There we go. We can just see it and no more. So I'll tell you what I'm actually going to do, Joe. For all the time that this demo is going to take, let's go 
all things, I was about to sing there, all things bright and beautiful, will we? Just so all we things can brown and beautiful, All you say. things brown. Let's go all things gold to really make it stand out so that you can see and you get the idea, because I do have one already scored. So here we are. We've got 11 by 4. Or there we go. So I've got my score and my die cut piece. And with this one, what you're going to do is you'll be able to get two out of the one letter, letter size or A4. So let's do this again to make it easier for you to see on your eyes. So here we go. So we're going to score halfway at five and a half, which is here. Let's score straight, straight, Craig. So we've got our score line here. There we go. That's better on the gold card. And then once again, halfway, I'm only going to put a little notch at the top and a little notch at the top here. So what I want to do is join from there to there. So let's do number four. As I say, you can do any line, but just choose one and then use that as your scoring guide. So let's go from here up to there. So there's a triangle. And then we're going to do four again from here up to here. So we can score. So we can see we've got a triangle now. And then we're going to do exactly the same on the opposite side. So let's go line number four. If you find it easier to use a ruler to line up, then you can do. That's uh, sometimes a good way to help as well. And what I mean by that is I'll show you on this last bit. So score that one. So if you need a little bit of uh, coordination by your eye, let's go line four. So I'm going to pop that into here. And if you wanted a bit of a guide, just so you can see that you're still in the same line, then you can use your ruler as a guide. But we can then score this one. So let's score. So this is now all that you need to do to create this. So we can then fold. And that's exactly what we're doing on all of these ones. So five in total, the center and the two edges, and then the two edges. So fold them over. And then if we pull that together, we're left a little cake box. So we've got that nice Love little that. cake box that you can see here. So that's how you do that. I've already got one done in the white watercolour card. So we're going to fold that one up. We're going to burnish the lines. And then what I like to do is I like to do this twice. And then what I do is I chop it up and then, so for instance, I'll chop these components up and then I'll take a little slither off of each area. So basically I'm making a slightly smaller triangle and then using my paper pad, I draw around the one that I've chopped up just to give me a nice guide so we can get the little triangles as a mat and layer. So that's how I get my center parts all layered up. So we're going to fold all these and then we can bring that in. So once again, you can see how it comes together as your little cake slice box. And then I would put, uh, pierce a little hole to feed some ribbon through. But let's move that to the side. And I've got all my triangles. And we're going to add a little bit of color. And what I've done with this one is you can, if you wanted to, use either the 12 by 12 or the 6 by 6. I've used the 6 by 6 because the design is slightly, slightly smaller. And what I mean by that, although all the images in the 12 by 12 are exactly the same as the 6 by 6, the only difference is the design has just been broken down slightly, so it's made smaller. So you've not lost anything, it's just been scaled down, so it matches exactly. And I used the 6 by 6 because I really wanted that compact design to be nice and small. And then going around water reactive, this time I'm going with a bit of green topaz and I'm going around the edges very lightly, Joe, to add that little bit of colour. Awesome. Uh, Deb says, the Wooden Friends collection is adorable. Crafter's Companion, how do you keep coming out with product that I just can't live without? That's Leanne and her very, very talented team. Uh, Deborah says, Joe, you look good today in that yellow sweater. Handsome guy. Oh, blushes, Deborah. Thank you. Uh, Susan says, I've been watching the Colour Me Happy show this morning. Amazing. Sarah's painting was absolutely brilliant. Uh, just tuned in to play your crafts. Crafts, right? Joe, I love your jumper. Uh, also, sorry you missed out on the quiz. Fingers crossed for the next one. Hugs. Susan, thanks Susan. Yeah, one more round to uh, either take us to a tie break or Craig's gonna have well and truly thrashed me, I think, otherwise. <laughs> Let's see. 
He's very confident. confident still. Very, very confident. We but am see. I? Am I? Am I confident? Am I cocky? Am I dr uh, just thinking your bluff? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Whatever it is, Craig, it's working. But don't worry, one more round uh, is coming up after this demonstration of Craig. So make sure uh, you stay tuned. Um, I can't wait to maybe even see Craig in those funky glasses again. <laughs> don't <laughs> Don't, don't forget as well that still loads of great shows. It's a brilliant Saturday uh, for you here today. We've got Craft Along at 3 p.m. in the UK, 10 a.m. East Coast time with those interchangeable sentiments. Love Craft Along. I actually think, do you know what, Craig? Craft Along has fast become my favourite show in the whole schedule. It's such an awesome one, isn't it? it? It is. It really is. I think just like you as well, I think quite a few of us on the team, it's becoming one of our favourites as well. I think it's the fact that we just get to draw it right back, go really slow, step by step, but then the feedback that you guys have been giving us uh, uh, over the last couple of weeks and how much you're enjoying it and how many of you realise that you can actually do it at the speed that we're doing it. Hence why we do it as a craft along that you love doing it. So yeah, looking forward to this one, which is the interchangeable sentiments. So if you've not got all of your parts that you need to actually craft along with us, then they are on my social media pages. They're on Crafters Companion as well. So you get some bits and pieces so that you can get crafting along with us. It's going to be good. It really, really is. I'll share with you uh, the ingredients, as we call them, that you need for that craft along after this demonstration as well. So you've got lots of time between shows to get ready for that. Rhonda said, Craig has got a good poker face. He has, hasn't he? How, are you any good at poker, Craig? I know nothing about poker games, card games, nothing like that. I'm terrible at it. I Really, am. really bad. Uh, Christine asked, Craig, do you prefer the rectangle or the round blenders? Uh, I prefer rectangle. It's an absolute uh, personal choice, but I prefer the rectangle ones. I just feel I get more of a coverage and I personally find it easier to, uh, to hold, to blend, and to just work around whatever cardstock that I'm doing. But you know, there's no one or the other uh, in, in difference. It's just whatever you feel comfortable with. Fabulous. Keep um. getting any comments or questions in that you may have. You can do that very easily, as always, with us. Uh, Crafters TV over on Facebook, Crafters Companion on YouTube as well. So you can uh, get in touch with me. Who do you think? Let me know in the comments. Who do you think is going to win the next round of Craft Bluff? Will it be me? Will it be Craig? Uh, June's very excited about the craft along. Uh, she says, really looking forward to it. Excited because my dies arrived yesterday. Yay. Uh, I know loads of you uh, will be all ready and set for that later craft along. So make sure Excellent. you join us then. That'll be good, won't it? Right, just a couple other bits just to do. Let's just die cut these. And then we're going to put our, uh, we've got these little uh, die cut toppers as well that are already on the sheet. So while that's cutting, we bring these ones in. So we've got quite a few that you can see. So I've die cut a few circles from my nesting dies using the paper pad, layer these two up, and then that is it. So let's bring these ones in. So watercolor card, pattern paper. So I'm gonna pop that on with our adhesive. So we can do that one here. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel these ones off. So you've got them on foam pads. So we can lift that off. I don't use the foam pads that are underneath, you know, shock horror. I use just a couple. So let's take that. We're going to do two for time and speed. So let's pop that one on into the center. That's going to frame into the middle here. And then what I'm also going to do is take one of these. And if you peel the foam pad that's underneath, if you peel that off, you've got another topper there that you could die cut if you want. Awesome. And then we can then pop this one here. That's then going to go kind of in the center and that foliage wreath is going to kind of frame it. So that can go here. And then let's just pop our tape on, move all that out of the way, place that into the middle. And I'm going to press that into place. And then there, once you've either pierced or popped a few holes into the side, that is how it will start to look. And then this one here at the side, added one extra topper from that sheet. And we can see here a couple of different papers that we've used, but that's the effect that you can get. Fantastic, uh, absolutely love that. What a fantastic use 
of that collection. Uh, right, it is time. Are you ready, Craig, uh, for the next so. instalment of Craft Bluff? Here we go with round number two. It's currently 1-0 to Craig, so it's all to play for with one round still to go. Now, remember how the game works. Uh, we're going to show you a picture with 10 crafty items. We both have 10 seconds to memorise as many of those craft items as we can. Then we'll let each other know how many you think we can guess and then one will have to call the other's craft bluff and we'll see how it transpires and how it all pans out. Are you ready then, Craig? I am ready. Let's have a look then at the next 10 items uh, in our Play Your Crafts Right show. Here they come. Okay. Right. Okay, I'm gonna guess I'm gonna guess first then this time, Craig, if that's alright. I'm gonna say that I can remember four items. I'm gonna say five. Okay, well then I'm going to call your bluff, Craig. Uh, it's time to put on the shades. Kadok. On they go. On the uh, right, let's bring the picture back in of those items. And then what we'll do is we will give Craig, let's get put uh, 30 seconds on the clock. Craig, you look like some, you, you look actually slightly scary, I won't lie. Sure. Uh, <laughs> right, we're ready. 30 seconds are on the clock. Go, Craig. Gemini Go, uh, 10 pack of your uh, hot glue guns, glue sticks, round blending tool, Call out glue gel in the syringe and and you got uh, five seconds, Craig. Uh, craft knife. Oh, you're out of time. Right. Uh, let's just take a second before we, no, don't take those off just yet. Oh, are we ready for Craig to take them off? Okay, you can take them off, Craig. So your first answer oh. was a Gemini Go. Correct. Well done. Glue sticks, yeah. also correct. The round blending tool was correct. Clow in the syringe, which was fantastic, that is correct. And the craft knife. Now, I do not see a craft nope. knife, Craig, do you? No. Nope. That means, Craig, that automatically uh, you lose, you've gone down. Uh, so it means then that it is one each. Now, we can't leave it at a draw, can we? We can't. So there's, there is a tie break. We have thought about this. Um, so what we've got, Craig, is we've both got a whiteboard and a marker handy, I believe. Okay. Now, we're both going to be shown the same picture. And we're going to have to... We're going to have to write down uh, the contents of the picture is how the game is going to work, Craig. Okay. Are you, are you up to speed with the rules? Yeah, let's We've go got for 10 that. seconds to have a look at the picture first and then remember the colours. It's the colours we're after, Craig, okay? So let's have a look at the picture then. Here it comes. Okie doke. Okay, all good. Ready, Craig? Yep. Go. How long we got left? I can't write in time, I think. Okay, I think I've got it, Craig. Do you think so? How are you doing? I How many you got written down, Craig? Uh, I've got five. Ooh. What are we going to do? What are we going to do if we both get five right? We'll have to do rock, paper, scissors, apparently. Uh, right, I, I, I'm ready, Craig. Are you? Yeah. Right, okay. Should we see that picture again? And then we will reveal our answers. There we are, Midnight, Fuchsia, Chinese Red, Parakeet, and the Noir Black. Right. Right, I have got Midnight, Parakeet, Fuchsia, Chinese, black, Chinese Red, sorry, and the Noir Black. That is what I have got, five out of five. Right, let's get a close-up on Craig's. It is all to play for. Does Craig have all five? Will we 
go to rock, paper, scissors, or does he only have four? Not Let's only see. have I got all five, I've got a little bit more detail than you. Midnight Fuchsia, Chinese Red, Parakeet, Finesse Noir Black. Noir, so I'm afraid Noir Black is the colour. It wasn't the type of ink pad we were afterwards. So it is a tie, Craig. Say that again. Midnight, Fuchsia, Chinese Red, yeah. Parakeet and Noir Black. It's a tie. Yeah. But then you've put Midnight, I've put Midnight Blue. But it's only, it's called Midnight, isn't it? Yeah. It's only called Midnight. It's blue. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I put, I put, I, but I still put finesse. But you didn't spell Chinese properly, Doesn't so matter. let's not split hairs. Doesn't matter. There we go. So we're going to have to rock, paper, scissors it, I'm afraid, Craig. <sighs> okay, are you ready, Craig? So what we're doing now? We're going to have to do rock, paper, scissors to see who wins. That's what it comes down to. Okay. Right. We didn't have a tie break for the tie break, I'm afraid. So are you ready, Craig? I think so. Right. Would we go three, two, one, then what we're doing, yeah? Okay, how do we play this? So if you I'm are, joking, I'm joking. Do... Oh, okay. <laughs> right, are you ready, Craig? Here we go, ready? Three, two, are you I'm doing ready. it with me? Oh, I'm okay. Ready. Right, you've got to do it at the same time. You have to both do this. Oh, do I have to do yeah, that? Yeah, ready? <laughs> yeah, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, I draw. Okay, again. Three, two, one. Yes! You, you paused! Boo! I did not pause. Boom! Winner! I'll hail the winner. Facebook, I'll hail the winner. you are the winner. You are the winner. Fabulous. Oh, I ground that one out there, there didn't you go. I? You can say Ooh. really. Did it? Yes. I got my, uh, I finally clawed it back for Team Facebook. Uh, right, now five people then at fa on Facebook will be uh, selected at random to win an awesome gift. What, what, what's everyone winning over on Facebook, Georgina? Do we know? Oh, you get a 10 pound or $10 credit. Five people will be selected at random. Whew, right, that's it, I'm done. I am back again next Saturday, uh, so let's see. Maybe I'm on a roll now, Craig. Maybe I can get another Maybe. win next Saturday. You might Let's want hope. to tell them to have a tiebreaker for the tiebreaker. A tiebreak well. for the tiebreak. I think yeah. so, yes. I do think that is definitely uh, something we need to look at. Now, something else that is happening a little later. We've got Craft House coming up, but it's got a brand new launch in it as well. Oh yeah, we are launching brand new Hunky Dory products. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna flick through them all for you. I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a, a taste of what you, is coming up. So you've got Acorn Wood coming up, luxury topper collection. There's an insert collection and a six by six little book as well. We've also got this, I think this one might be your favorite. It's the Butterfly it's Blue. Mine. Is that your favorite? Yeah. It's so gorgeous. There's so much you can do with these as well. Again, this one also comes with an eight by eight pad too and we've also got spring meadow as well because spring has well and truly sprung again luxury toppers insert and picture perfect eight by eight paper pad in there for you too you're going to absolutely adore those products uh, they are all coming up for you in that later craft house show it should be 7 p.m here in the uk 2 a.m if you are on the east coast woohoo here we go joe you can do it go craig go craig go craig says denise renee she says this is serious <gasps> tie break time it is tense uh, leela says this is such a fun show on saturday morning Craig feels exactly, Craig doesn't feel exactly how I felt after round one. He feels worse because he lost, obviously. I mean, I just only temporarily lost one round. Uh, I think we just need to let Craig just have a little bit of a cry. Uh, so whilst we do that, why don't we have a look uh, <laughs> at all the great benefits of Club Inspired. I'm Take absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with me. Welcome to Club Inspire, our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to silver membership, where you'll get 10% discount, plus free shipping when you spend over £20. 
when you get to 750 points, you'll become a gold member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery courier service. When you reach 1500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. We'll send you a completely free quarterly ditchy mag direct into your inbox, giving you lots of hints, tips, inspiration, additional offers and some sneaky behind the scenes gossip from the team. So what are you waiting for? Become a member of our club today. All the details there of the fantastic club inspired right now uh, we are moving into the winner's circle. You're all winners in this part of the show because the prize, the prices are literally the prizes because we save some of the best deals of the week for you in this section. It's a 30 minute section and you're gonna wanna snap up the awesome deals that we have because the savings are colossal in this section of the show. Now, let me share with you, uh, we've got some great flower forming foam, flower forming foam. Flower, yeah, I said it right. Why did I, why do I think I said it wrong? What am I like? Uh, let me share with you what you've got in this collection. So we've got some great foam for you. This one here, it's your rose garden foam in the nine by 12 size. You've got three colors there in this one. We also have the dies for you too. Now these are the vintage lace and these are your petite posies that you've got. And we're going to also include in there as well, the metallic stamens, which is brilliant. Uh, it is a fantastic deal for you as well. Now, just the die on its own, or it should be 9.99 or 11.95. So you're basically paying for the foam, all the dies, we're sending you the other two items totally free of charge, which is just fabulous value. We've got a mini embossing collection for you uh, up next. Now this is brilliant. Now with this one here, um, you do actually get three elements here. I've only got two here in the studio. So what I've got is a decorative lace, which gives you this detail just here. And also this one, which is your celebration borders. And it's these two different borders that you're going to receive there in that one. There is another one as well. And the other one that you've got is the one on the left just there which is your, it is your Regency Floral is the other one that you've got just there. So uh, do grab those. 767 is again an unbeatable price there on that one. Now, the next up we've got for you, we've got a really lovely sentiment collection. Uh, you've got some from the Rose Gold, which are these ones just here. So you've got Love, which is that one there. And you've also got Wish, which is this one here as well. Uh, and then from the Garden of Love collection, you're going to get the congratulations and the everlasting love. What really lovely sentiments are in there for you. Now, the last collection that I have, oh, I've got an extra, I've got an extra special, little special deal for you as well going into here. But this one again, some from the Rose Garden here. It's a really lovely mixture. It's got that gorgeous corner there. This one is the Modern Roses. These are awesome. I always think these look like piped icing almost, those roses, they're gorgeous. You've got the Ditsy Bloom which is a really lovely outline die, and also one of our spinner dies in there for you as well, which is a twirling elephant. You can get all of that for 1917 or 2542. Now, everything we've just shown you will go through the Gemini Mini, which is fabulous. And we've got the Mini on the show for you today. Now, 29.99 is the cost of the machine on its own. However, this deal is awesome because we're going to throw in the storage bag for you, totally free of charge, which is excellent. So you're not gonna pay for that. It's worth 12.99 or 16.99 so uh, do grab those and as we said every all of the deals in the winner's circle will go through that gemini mini uh right the winners of of team facebook that's my team in case you you didn't know not craig's team because craig lost i don't know if we clarified that uh you that you want, it me he's seen he it. who They're does protest that. 
He who does protest too much, Craig. Uh, Pamela Carley, Cindy Tan, Chastain, Connie Peltier, Stacey Thompson, and Margie, you, Margie Kios Chiefo. What a Ooh. great name, Margie Kios Chiefo. I hope I said that right, Margie. Um, you're a winner. You're a winner, baby. Uh, you need to email us, please. Prizes at Crafters Companion. Dot com prizes at crafterscompanion.com and we will get those vouchers organized for you uh roger rosaline says this is why i get up for these shows so much fun and interacting monica says you're so funny i love you guys today give another never a dough moment but loads of fun thank you so much uh gene says afternoon craig and joe you two are really entertaining i like all the demos which i've done and i learn so much brenda says great show boys fun games and lots of knowledge Connie says, a little competition never hurt anyone. It builds character. Everyone needs, needs to learn to be a good loser. Yes. Isn't that right, Craig? Uh, Petra says, uh, after my order the other day, I only got uh, one point left to be a double platinum oh. member since June 2020. Oh, how exciting. Don't forget, double points across everything in this show. So this is definitely the event to get you to that next level. Laura says, I believe I will be a platinum by the end of the year. First time, of course. I only found Crafts Companion in the fall. Uh, really, really exciting. Yes, double points means that uh, you are going to get you normally get a, a point per pound or dollar you spend you're getting two points per pound or dollar until the end of tomorrow so make sure you take advantage of that loads of great deal in these winner circle Craig which one are you choosing to demonstrate first so we're going to go with the petite posies we're also going to go with the rose garden flower form and foam and of course we're going to use the gemini mini so what i've done is i've folded all these bits all up so we have got one two three four all together so four layers through our gemini mini but joe this is your first day back as well so if you didn't already know if you're in the market for some Spectrum Noir goodies, on the website there's a section as well where there's a little offer on Spectrum Noir. Oh, nice. So you'll be able to go along there and have a wee look too. So there's just a wee bit of a heads up for you. But here we go. There is our foam. And I have easily cut out four layers. I would have been able to cut out more than four layers. But we've gone for four with the one of them. So I've gone one to these. So they're still the largest one and also the smallest one to go. But we're taking these ones. So I'm going to move them out the way. And then we're going to get these to go. So if I move them at the side. Now you could be using either a craft iron or a travel iron. But you can absolutely use your home iron that you use at home. If you're doing that, I would do, you know, near a uh, high heat. The hotter the heat the quicker that the foam is going to form, which is great. You want that in most cases. If you want that little bit more time to actually uh, do extra shaping in that, if you do it not quite high, and it just gives it a slow movement to actually form together. I've got my, this is just my craft iron. I, Joe, I get asked about this time and time again, just to let anyone know. This one that I use, it's not on the market now, but you can be using your home iron, as I say, and an inexpensive travel iron is going to do exactly the same because uh, it's just a form of heat that you need to use. But this is the one that I always use because it's always under my desk. So that is all uh, heated up and we're good to go. I've got some of my extras that you can have a look for as well. So our actual ball tools that you'll need for our flower forming. So what I'm then going to do, I'm going to bring in a bit of tweezers and I'm going to bring a couple of these and I'm going to pop that one on and straight away you can see how that starts to shape. So let's move that. I'm then going to come in without throwing them at you and we're going to, I'm going to open these petals up the right way, so we go, let's find which way it's open, there, there, and then there. I'm going to add extra shape into my sponge mat. So I'm going to go round, round, and round, just adding that extra shape. So we're going to pop that round. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another one. I must have a little bit of adhesive stuck to that. So I'm going to take my other tweezers. And I'm going to pop this one on here, letting that shape, and then I'm just going to tip it off. Once again, going in with my ball tool and you don't have to be uh, really careful you know you can just go all in really really robust if you do start to break any petals don't worry about them keep them and still add them to your project with your hot glue because that's going to add a little bit extra look to them and shape to them so we can then pop these ones in here 
and then if you wanted to you can then come along and you could add extra shape now pop it onto your ball tool and then using your two thumbs and just lightly you can start to pull them away and this is then starting to add a little bit extra shape to them at this point as well if you do tear them because if you've never tried this before what will probably happen is you're not too sure on how strong you need to do this you might actually tear them in that case exactly the same as if you actually tear a petal off keep it and still use it because petals in nature you know they're not natural they're not oh they're natural but they're not um it's symmetrical, not symmetrical no. or anything like that yeah so i'm going to pull out a couple of these so if i do this one so let's just peel out so we can shape and then i'm going to do one more so we're going to shape 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 so there's that back one let's do one smaller one and we can pop that one on popping that one on here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to come down a ball tool and then at this point i'm going to bring in the actual stamens and i've got a very 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 thin piece of either floristry wire or jewelry wire it is that thin that your scissors will cut it no problem at all even your tiny little scissors so you know i don't even know what that thinness would be all i can tell you is it's extremely extremely thin and then i'm going to bring in four of these stamens what i'm going to do is i'm going to move my iron just out the way for now so don't put my arm in it and then what i'm doing is i'm going to then bend them over so i've taken this wire and i've also bent that one over so that one can go through so we're feeding it through and then pulling the stamens so they're going to be back on themselves so we've now done eight stamens that we can see here so let's just line these ones up here so we've gone for four to eight and then we're going to twist and twist and twist because this is a, the actual point that's going to feed through our actual flowers so i'm going to keep twisting a wee bit more and then once i'm happy that i've got enough i'm going to snip that excess off so what we can do is then bring in our pokey tool and what i'm doing is let's start with the smallest one first so into the center i'm going to pop that one through and then i'm going to go into this next size one up so poking that one through we're going to go into the next one so if we go and making sure we've got our petals and we can pop that one through and then we're going to come into this last one and what we're doing is we're going to poke that one through if you want more inspiration as well around flower forming i know there's been a, a few flower forming master classes yes. hasn't there craig uh, you've done one i believe uh, sarah's done one or two as well go over and find them on our website or on youtube uh, and there'll be you know hours and hours of tuition there on these flowers for you as well so if you've not tried it give it a go i think anyone can do it craig i did it didn't i so you therefore did. i think absolutely anyone can give these a go you did do it. You done a cracking flower, didn't you? I really did. I think it was, I thought it was it was out. Oh, it's here actually, Craig. Is it still there? Look, yeah. First time I ever tried these, uh, and that is what I created first time out off the bat. So I think if I can do that, absolutely anyone of you guys uh, can give this a go. You absolutely can. So much fun to do. And once you get Loads into that um, relaxing status, you know, you just get really relaxed. You just start creating and forming them. But what I've done is on the back, I've added hot glue. If you want to pop hot glue in between each layer, you can do, but you can just do it right at the end to hold the stamens in. Then a couple of these that I've broken off. So let's take that one and that one. So if you do break them off by accident, what to do is add them to the back using your hot glue. And we always suggest hot glue because it is pretty much instant. If you were to use your glue gel what would happen is it would take quite a while to dry and then that's when your flowers or your petals can actually start to fall away so therefore by doing the hot glue you're going to get that instant flower so we're getting rid of these streams of glue if you start to get them what you can do afterwards is come along with your hot tool heat tool and start to waft away some of the petals so we can then go into place here. So you can start to build them, shape them first, and then work all the way around with any little boat broken bits, or maybe on purpose, you've snipped some bits away so you can start to shape them. 
and even doing it this way can be quite therapeutic as well. Karen says, I love waking up in the morning and getting my day started by watching the Scotty Hottie. <gasps> Don't think you're alone there, Karen. Oh, brilliant. Uh, Elizabeth says, never done flower form. We might have to get this at that price to give it a go. Absolutely do, because uh, you've got everything you need in there, really. Just use your own iron. If you've got a bit of sponge at home and a ball tool, you are set to go. Uh, Christine says, everyone needs to learn how to be a humble winner too, as well. Uh, I am model humble winner. I think you'll agree, Christine. Uh, v Renee said, oh, Joe, you did great with your flower. Honestly, it was so, so simple. I think anyone could give it a go. I really, really do. Look at that. So we've got a real close bud within the middle. So if I tip that round that way, so we've got that close bud. But then if we were to look inside, we've got the stamens just peeping through and it's all held together with that glue on the back. And then once it's completely dried without the hot glue, which is kind of now, what I'm going to do is snip further to the base. Now that's going to sit flush, the base anyway, is going to sit flush onto your card or your project that you can see here. But if maybe you've got some foliage leaves or dyes from other collection, start, start to incorporate them as well. But just to say, even although these dyes are made with the intention of doing flower forming, they're still going to be able to use when it comes to your card and paper as well. And the same with any of your normal flower dyes, you can use that with the foam as well and start to create other flowers. Absolutely. I think you're going to really, really enjoy using them. Let me recap there what exactly you've got included. So you've got the Rose Garden Flower Forming Foam in there for you. You then have the Petite Posies, which is this one just here. Uh, this I've also then got as well, this one just here for you, uh, as you can see, which is your stamens there as well, which is absolutely fantastic. I, Sure, you can hear my iPad has just decided to start. It's on full volume for some reason. I have no idea why. Between Let me that, turn this back down. Did for you see you. what happened the other day? No. Lord, Lord Adam was testing audio in the other studio. Oh, yes. And, you're, and it came um, through my earpiece. Yeah. Totally through. Yeah. Because I have, uh, what we have is like a WhatsApp. So I have the, I have the uh, one where I speak to you guys muted, but then <laughs> something's come through on another one and there we are, full volume. Uh, we won't get a BAFTA for this, Craig. Now, uh, what I want to just recap for you uh, are the interchangeable sentiments because a lot of you are asking about the upcoming craft along. So let me just run you back through what's in here. If you want to go for these today and then when they arrive, watch that craft along back on our website or YouTube or Facebook, absolutely you're going to be able to do that. So don't think just because you don't have these in your possession today that you're going to miss out on that. You can watch it back at any time. So in here you've got, you're the best, you're engaged and you're invited. They all have those awesome different mats as well that you're going to be able to put any of the sentiments on top of, which is fantastic. The next one we have here is the uh, butterfly foliage, which has got happy birthday, happy Easter and happy forts. You're your regal frame has just for you, miss you and thank you. This one here, the ornate swells, that's got sending wishes, birthday wishes and get well wishes. The lovely vines has best wishes, best of luck and best friend. This one here has congratulations, celebrate and condolences. And this one here, your wildflowers has sending hearts, sending love and sending kisses as well. Really, really awesome. I love the versatility that you have because of course, what you've got there are seven die sets, but of course they're giving you 21 different options when it comes to how you're going to use them, which is fantastic. Now for that later craft along, which will be coming up at 3 p.m. here in the UK or 10 a.m. on the East Coast, it is not too late to get yourself set and join us. Now, this is everything that you are going to need. So your 12 by 12 pad, your butterfly foliage interchangeable dies, your stitch edge oval, your ornate frames as well, uh, the big year of crafts flower dies, your A4 foam pad sheets, some white pearls, uh, either 12 by 12 or A3 cardstock, yellow and green, and some A4 cardstock in the matte black, the white, and the pastel blue. Now, some other bits that you're going to require as well, you're going to need your score master, the stamping mat, a large guillotine, craft knife and scissors, pokey tool and collar glue, small flower forming ball tool, your low tack tape and a tape pen, tacky glue in the fine applicator, and the Gemini, the Junior, or the MIDI. It is completely up to you. That is everything you need. Can I just say 
Lovely as well, Joe, with that first screen there, where I've got 12 by 12 and A th or A3. If you want to do it exactly like me, that yellow and green is pastel Centura Peril. They forgot to pop that bit on. So if you're doing it exactly like what I'm doing, it's pastel. Same with the blue, where it says blue, it is pastel blue. And then the, the white one, that's white Centura Peril. So just in case you want to do it exactly like me, that's what that is. So it's the pastel with a hint of silver. Awesome. Uh, really looking forward to that. 3 p.m. here in the UK, 10 a.m. off you in the East Coast. Uh, it'd be really fun to have everyone crafting along with us in real time, which is awesome. Uh, I'm going to recap the embossing folders before we go uh, over to Craig for a demonstration. Remember what you're getting in here. You're getting three fantastic embossing folders. Uh, one of the embossing folders is a two pack. So it's this one just here, which is your celebration borders. You're also going to get as well the decorative lace, which gives you that effect. And there's a swirls one included as well, which I don't know. The stocks are that low on this. I don't actually have one of them available to me in the studio. 767 or eight pounds 29 if you want to get this absolutely perfect to go through your Gemini mini uh, you can of course use them for your larger Gemini machines or, or any die cutting machine for that matter uh, these great value these Craig uh, and embossing folders just an absolute essential really aren't they oh, are because you can pretty much make instant cards with embossing folders use them as a backdrop or start to bring in your inks or gilding waxes anything like that so what I'm going to do is I've brought in some gold mirror card because that's also going to show off the design without actually doing black and gilding wax. So what we're going to do is let's take the celebration borders first. So within this one, you're getting the two of them. So I can then bring in, let's bring in another piece and I'm going to make that one thinner. So I'm going to do two inches. Let's do, I'm going to do two by six just so that we've got enough for you to see. So we're going to bring in one of them just now. So folding it over like we would do with any other of our Boston folders. So we can sit that one in like that. Now these will go through your large Gemini or your junior or even your midi. But of course they're going to go through your mini as well. So what you're going to need is because this is a 2D folder, you're going to need your plastic shim that comes with the Gemini Mini. So what we can do is we can then roll that one through. So just sandwich it on the base and then we're going to roll through. So as we roll that one through, what happens is that gives an extra pressure. So you'll be able to see, look at that. Maybe you want to come along and pop some gems or pearls into the middle. Then you'll be able to see how well that that looks. Isn't that fab? By a simple folder and a little machine. So that is the stars and dots. Let's do exactly the same again when it comes to the parcels. Let's trim that one down as well. And this is actually a good way to show is you don't have to have your cardstock the same size. If you want it bigger with the decoration throughout the middle, you can. So once again, plastic shim, and we're going to pop that one through. So that's going to go through like this one. And both of these are a 2D embossing folder that we can see there. And then if I tip it that way for you to see, You'll see you've got all those presents. Cut into them if you want, chop into them. That would look quite smart. But then what you've also got is you have got the decorative lace. Now, not only is this an embossing folder, this is a 3D embossing folder. So what that means is there is oodles and oodles of layers to this one There's here. What? Oodles, oodles. and oodles. oodles. Love that. I love the way you layers. say that with your accent, Craig. Oodles and oodles of them. Oodles and so oodles. it could be two, three, four multiple layers when it comes to these. So we're going to sandwich that one over. And because it's 3D, it's even thicker. So you need nothing, no plastic shim, nothing at all. That's going to go straight into your mini. And this isn't the only folder we do. You know, you might want to check out the website online, have a look at other ones that we do as well. So if I open this one up and straight away, how phenomenal is that? Isn't that just absolutely sublime? Really gorgeous. So much point. detail, Craig. It really is. Really is. Great way of showing, showing all the detail is in two ways. One is black card stock with gilding waxes or straight onto mirror card that you can see there. So who would have thought that something like that not only has come from a plastic folder, but you can still do it through a machine that is so, so small.
Mm, really, really fantastic. Uh, make sure uh, you grab hold of those. They are awesome, awesome deals. Janice says, both looking dapper, gents. Thank you very much, Janice. She says, wonderful demos again, Craig. Really love these shows. Stephen Lee Guy says, I love flower forming. It looks difficult to do, but then it all comes together so easily at the end. Bernie, uh, Bernie's got a great surname. Bernie Stahlnecker. What a great name. Uh, it says, really like watching all of these shows. Such great ideas. We love it uh, that you watch and we love that we have, you know, such a dedicated um, audience. So many of you join us every single day, which we also love. Now, everything in the winner's circle will actually go through your Gemini Mini, which is fantastic. And in here, what you're going to get is you're going to get the uh, book, which tells you how to use it, your instruction manuals, not that it's all that complicated. And you've got your actual Mini in there as well, which suction cats either onto your work surface or on top of one of your other larger Gemini machines. $29.99 or $44.95 is the price that you would pay day in, day out for the machine. Uh, $23.99 or $35.96 for Club Inspire Platinum members if you wanted to get this. And you're also going to get the storage bag included. Now the storage bag would normally be $12.99 or $16.95. We're gonna give that to you totally free of charge if you order your Gemini Mini in this show. Uh, so don't miss out on that awesome deal. Now the Mini Crate, I know I often say this, but I saw it and thought, why on earth would you want that? I mean, it looks small, doesn't it? And because it's small, I think you think that it's going to be somehow inferior to the other Gemini machines that we have in the range. I absolutely hold my hand up. When this one came out and I knew it was coming out, I did think, well, am I going to really need a smaller one? Just thinking exactly like you, because we're all crafters here on the TV team. But you will be, you will be surprised how many of your dies at home is going to go through this machine. So as long as they're wafer thin, doesn't just have to be our dies. They have, you know, they can be any of them that are out there. So as long as they're going to fit within that folder, it's folder for them. So it's not as uh, you're having to use plates. It is folder to make these last a long time. Always flip and rotate like you would do with your actual plates. And the tip that I always give, and you can do it with your plates as well, in the bottom corner, write A, B, C and D all the way around. You can do one, two, three, four if you want. That gives you a bit of a mental guide when it comes to flip and rotating them. So you've got that, so you can do your die cutting. It's going to take your 6x3 embossing folders, 2D and 3D. If you use 2D, you're going to use the plastic shim that you get with it. Now, the Mini has exactly the same pressure as the Junior, as the Large Gemini and even the Pro. It's on a smaller scale, manual as well. It does have a really good suction to the bottom that you can see even with my glass mat. To release it's it, like a workout, going, Craig. it is a workout, isn't it? Tip it forward or back, that's going to release it. Really easy to wind through as well. And the actual handle itself, this bit winds round too. So as you're moving, you don't need to do anything with your hand other than go round and round. Hold it with your fingers. It's going to run it through, whether it's the folder or the die cut. Credible pressure, as I say. Have a look in your stash, any of the dies that you've got, as long as they fit in that folder six by three. Could be your sentiments, it could be your over the edge characters, some of your nesting dies. Obviously, your uh, year of crafts or any of the, your little craft boxes, so many of these are going to go through. Such an absolute workhorse. At home, I have my Gemini Junior on my right-hand side, and I have my Midi and my Mini at the left-hand side. Straight away, you just wind them through. It's done and dusted. Never taken anything away from our electronic machines, but it just means it's even quicker to go through. Either fast-forward it through with your fingers and go back again, or just go all the way through. It is, of course, in that manual form and really really quick but really really secure and really really tough as well absolutely a brilliant machine uh, Suzette says I love my mini out of all machines it's the one that I use the most now uh, don't forget get yourself over to the website have a look at all the winner circle show deals have a look also at the Woodland Friends sh deal that we have for you in this show. Don't forget loads coming up later. Now, later today, our last show of the day is our craft house. We are launching Hunky Dory products in that show, which is fantastic. Uh, but before that, what we have, of course, is a craft along, and that craft along is going to be on the interchangeable sentiments. I'm going to, again, just quickly share with you the products that you're going to need for that later show. So, uh, you will require uh, a 12 by 12 pad. Craig has gone for the Fairy Guard one here. You've got the Butterfly Foliage Interchangeable die. You then will need the ornate frames, you'll need some of your nesting dies also, uh, the flower dies from the year of craft. We've also got some foam pad sheets, 
white pearls, 12 by 12 or A3 card. Craig went for that pastel Centura. Uh, the A4 card as well, the matte black, the white, and the pastel blue. And then some additional items from your stash. You'll need the Scoremaster, the stamping mat, the large guillotine, the craft knife and scissors, the poke tool and the collow glue, uh, a small flower forming ball tool, low tack tape and a tape pen, tacky glue in the fine tip applicator, and a Gemini uh, a Junior or a midi. So you've got time over the next hour and a half to gather those items together and join us for that craft along, which is going to be exciting, uh, giving you the opportunity to craft along with us in real time. Did, would you say anyone can have a go at that project as well in that show, Craig? Absolutely. We're going to do it step by step, slowly, and you're going to be able to craft along with me and make a really lovely box. Absolutely. Love those shades, Craig. I mean, I think they are absolutely awesome. Uh, right, you guys have got an hour and a half to do what you need to do. Uh, and then, of course, join us back here for, for that awesome craft along at uh, 3 p.m. here in the UK, 10 a.m. if you are on the East Coast. Uh, we'll see you then. Take care. Bye.